Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be updating you on exactly what is going to be changing in CMU version 1.9.2. At the start of this content update, the CMU developers have given us a little bit of history into the development of CMU Emulator. Both developers of CMU did have a history with emulation, but they had never done something on such a grand scale as CMU. In the beginning, they seemingly took shortcuts and believing that 99.9% .9 accuracy towards emulation was good enough. These small inaccuracies in the emulation of both video and audio are the reasons that EXAP and PeterGov have decided to completely rewrite all of the audio code for CMU Emulator. This is what we will be seeing in CMU 1.9.2. Let's now go over some of these changes that we are going to be seeing. Stereo mixing will now be working as intended in every game. Audio output working in VC games and NES Remix games. No, or at least far less, crackling in games that were prone to it. This refers to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Correct volume for most sound effects. No stuttering, corrupt or looping sounds playing back inside of our games. And no more stuttery sound and game audio. This is in reference to Super Smash Bros 4. Along with all of this new sound changes, they are also bringing a new timer into CMU. This timer called RDTSC will allow CMU's development team to introduce much more accurate timings for both video and audio into CMU Emulator. As well as all these improvements and the improvement to Smash Bros sound, we have also learned that Smash Bros 4 will now boot within CMU 1.9.2 even with its DLC and update data added to the game. On a final note, even though we are going to be getting some more random and minor bug fixes and input improvement brought to us by PeterGov, the CMU development team are still working on a fix for the softlocks in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Even though this won't be fixed in CMU 1.9.2, it is indeed reassuring to know that CMU's development team is aware of the problem and are hard at work trying to fix it. In relation to a release date for CMU 1.9.2, it is scheduled to be released on September 25th, so three days from today, and seven days after that it will be released for free to the public on October the 2nd. As always, if anything changes with this schedule, I will let you guys know over on Twitter. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found it informative. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.